Well, we made it here. Now what? There's a man here named Spinoza who has been researching replicas with Van. Van. Let's pay a little visit to Spinoza at Phone Machine Lab 1. Master, you tricked me. You're making replicas. What are you thinking? Let's go check it out. We heard that you caused quite a stir in battle, sir. Commander of Special Operations? Commandant Grants wants to see you. Now, Commander Ash! Now's our chance to see General Grants. Let's just play along. Van, Major Legretta. Master, back in Axeriuth, you... you made me... This is quite a mix-up. Shall I send them away? No, it's all right. Why are you destroying the Sephiroth trees and causing the Outer Lands to fall? This wasn't written in Yulia's score! Yulia's score... Don't make me laugh. If people continue to rely on that garbage, mankind will go extinct. But you're trying to end the world yourself by making the Outer Lands fall. This is the only way to free the world from Yulia's score. I suppose the score won't matter if everyone's dead. No. All that will die is that ghost of Yulia known as the Score and its support, Lorelei. Lorelei? The aggregate sentience of the Seventh Phonon? But its existence hasn't been proven. It exists. It's the source of man's power to read the Score and the force driving this world into madness. If Lorelei is not destroyed, this world will continue to be shackled by the score. So many people will die if the Outer Lands fall. The score will be the least of anyone's worries. Humans are mere puppets, living only as the score dictates. Replicas will suffice. You're going to recreate the entire world? Everything? That's ridiculous! Then what about this, Gylardia Galan Guardios? Mankind knew through the score of Hod's destruction and still did nothing. But... My feelings have not changed. If you will aid me, I would gladly welcome you. My promise still stands. What promise? What's he talking about, Guy? Well... My family has served House Guardios for generations. When we were reunited under Duke Fabra, we swore revenge for the destruction of Hod. He's here. Ash! It's about time, Ash. With your hyper-resonance, together we will create a new world order. No! If you need hyper-resonance, then use that replica there! That inferior product? He can't even control a complete hyper-resonance on his own. He was merely a pawn to make the Order think history was following the score. Take that back! Tyr, open your eyes! With the Sephiroth out of control, your efforts with this refuse are meaningless. 
It's all right, Lagretta. They pose no threat. Dear, put away your weapon. The odds are against us here. Yeah, we wouldn't escape from this one unharmed. We can't die here, even if he dies with us. We still have to lower the Outer Lands. Van, we'll both withdraw. Is that all right, Commandant? Improving Asha's mood could be beneficial. The Commandant has spoken. Now leave. We're saving a sabbatical. Yeah, we're only here because of you. Don't get me wrong. I only saved you because the phone master told me to. Ion told you to? I have something for you. Come to the inn.
Noelle, you're okay. Yes, Ash rescued me. Ash? Thank goodness! But the Albior's ability to fly was sealed at Doth. What? If you can't fly, how did you get here? It could still travel over water, so I managed with that. They probably removed the flight stone, the phone stone that controls the hover drive. So we can't fly until we get that back? Yeah, the Albior's just a ship for the moment. Ion asked me to give this to you. This is a history of the Dawn Age. It's one of the Order's forbidden texts. Forbidden texts are those the Order designated as harmful and gathered up, right? Correct. And this is a very old one at that. Ion said you'd find it useful in lowering the Outer Lands. It will take time to read it. Can we save the talk for tomorrow? Sure. You're probably the only one of us who can make sense of it anyway. We're counting on you, Jade. Then I'll see you tomorrow morning. Go. You didn't wake up, Master, so they all left. They could have woken me up. Jade, did you learn anything? Yes. It seems the cause of the Cliffoth's liquefaction lies in the core. The center of the planet? Where memory particles form? Yes. It should be at rest. But it's vibrating violently. That's likely the cause of the liquefaction. Then why didn't the people of Yulia City do something about the core shaking? Maybe because it's not in the score. Partly. The primary reason was that the shaking is caused by the planet storm. The planet storm? That's that artificial planetary fuel distribution system, right? That's right. You remembered. The memory particles from the core pour out of the first Sephiroth, the radiation gate. And they return to the core through the second Sephiroth, the absorption gate. That's the planet storm that forms the planet's fuel. Dr. Southern Cross proposed the planet storm during the Dawn Age. They likely didn't have any idea that the planet storm would cause the core to vibrate. And in fact, it probably didn't originally. But over a long period of time, distortions developed and the core began to vibrate. Even Dr. Southern Cross didn't predict the core's vibration. The only way to stop the shaking is to stop the planet storm. But stopping the planet storm would drastically weaken both phone tech and phonic arts. The passage rings supporting the outer lands would also stop completely. Then there's nothing we can do. Actually, we just need to stop the core's vibration while maintaining the planet storm. Can we do that? This forbidden text contains some ideas. But it was sealed away because it contradicts Yulia's score? Correct. All we can do is fix the liquefaction and lower the outer lands. Granted, we will need to reconstruct the phone machine from the text. We'll need the help of the researchers in this city. But the people in this city are all connected with Father and Van. Father? What? What's so funny? What do you know? Ash really is a young noble. Ash, where are you going? For a walk. Fill me in later. For now, go figure out what you're going to do. Uh-oh, 
made him mad. <laughs> Whoops. My, my. He has some soft spots after all. Honestly, stop teasing him. If what Ash says is true, then won't it be difficult to gain the researcher's help? No, there's a way. Look for a researcher named Hankin. What do we do when we find him? You'll see. Want us to take on a secret job? Out of the question. God General Dist is in charge here. If he found out, there's no telling what would happen. Oh well, I guess I'll leave building the contents of this forbidden text to Eamon's group in Sheridan. What? Eamon? That Tamra and her cronies aren't going to take another Don Age phone machine from us! Uh, okay, if that's how it is, we'll take on your job. Huh? What? Why are you so opposed to the guys in Sheridan? We've been rivals in phone machinery research since our days at the Royal Academy. We of Belkin's Class I are at 99 wins, 99 losses against Sheridan's Class M. I won't lose anymore! Guy, you knew about this? The rivalry between Class I and Class M is famous among foam machine buffs. We should get the governor on our side, or information might leak to Dist. 
but the governor is currently our enemy. Don't worry, leave that to us. All right, let's go, Kathy. There they go. <sighs> I suppose we'll explain our plan in front of the governor. Master Luke. Relax. The governor is going to help us. I've been ordered to search for Master Luke and Princess Natalia. I just can't seem to find them. That's all. Understand? Oh, please. You're as excited as anyone about that forbidden text. Either way suits us. We'll explain what's happened so far. Go ahead, guy. Me? Oh, all right. I see. That's some story. It's hard to believe. What are you talking about? Rugnica's already gone! We'll first need to measure the frequency of the core's vibration. How do we do that? By inserting a measuring device through a passage ring into a Sephiroth tree. So, we'll need a Sephiroth that we haven't lowered yet. Shuri Hill and the Zhao Ruins are both in the clip-off now! Shall we ask Grandfather in Yulia City? We need the Albior to fly if we're going back to the cliff-off. Oh yeah, it can't fly right now. We could take the Yulia Road. Then let's go to Doth. Ion might know where the Sephiroth are too. The Sephiroth will be closed with a Dothic seal. We'll need to take Ion. We'll build the measuring device here. Thanks. We're counting on you. We'll head to Doth in the meantime. W what was that about? Spinoza just ran away. Spinoza? What was he doing? I'd say he was eavesdropping and is now going to report what he heard. Spinoza's not that kind of man. You can't judge a book by its cover. Were you talking about something you wouldn't want overheard? They're going to secretly rebuild the phone machine from the forbidden text. We're going to bring Ion here in the meantime. At any rate, we just need to catch Spinoza, right? I'll find him. Ash, you're helping us. Then let's look for him together. D don't get me wrong. I want to ask Spinoza something myself. I'm just helping you on the side. I do not intend to get friendly with you people and that replica. Don't be stupid. We don't know where he went, and you'll need a vehicle. Enough. Just go get Ion. Okay, that does it. I'm going to find Spinoza before that jerk does. Don't talk about him like that! He reminds me of a young Eamon. He's probably shy and lonely. Huh. That makes him all the worse. Listen, Luke. Spinoza will try to leave the country by ship. You find him before that Ash does. Of course. Just so you don't forget, bringing Ion here is what's important. I know that. We can still take a quick look around the cities along the way, right? <sighs> you pick strange things to be stubborn about. 